Melanie says, what are the basic tools, machines, etc. needed to get started with woodworking? I would love to do things you do, but don't even know where to start. There are so many different types of tools and machines out there. What do you recommend I buy as a beginner, but also that will help me grow? Well, I would like to tell Melanie that this is probably our top question that we get almost every single day. Um, let's say the top three tools that we suggest that, that you start with. Number one is a miter saw. Miter saw. And there's different ones. That we've talked about that too. Go big, go small. We always say the bigger you go, the more it's going to do for you. So if budget will allow you to go 12 inches, go 12 inches. That's, that's going to be the max miter saw that you'll get anyway is a 12 inch sliding miter saw. Go ahead and go you, for it if you can. You will thank us. Number two, Craig Jig. For sure. Have to I have mean, a Craig jig. it happens. And we have a video. You may have missed Craig it. Jig. How to use a Craig Jig and what the heck is it? So go check that one out. Number three. three is a drill. You can't build anything without a drill, so go ahead and invest in one now. Also, if you go to our website and click on tools, you can get a rundown. We start, if you're a beginner woodworker, these are the tools that you need. If you're an intermediate, you can start adding to your collection. Go check that out. So if you were to go into those three right there and pick out top of the line stuff, you might be putting in a $500 investment up front. But let's talk about a table. A table at a discount furniture store is going to run about $500. So we're able to literally build most of what's in our home with three of those tools and maybe some extras. So that is why we tell everybody, it seems like a big bang right at first, but you're going to get a lot of bang from it too. Well, in the home renovations that we've done, I know we tallied it up and built 14 to 16 pieces per yeah. house. Total in lumber was about $2,000 for all of those pieces. Add in the tools that we had to build mm -hmm. those, you're still coming in at what, like a nice dining table. Yeah, and then some people will say, well, what about the stain? What about this? A can of stain could get you through five different pieces of furniture. So we don't sometimes factor in that $7 that's split over five projects. Um, I just think, go big, you, you will thank us once again. Shannon wants to know what kind or size of pocket jig do you use? Because they range from $13 to $99 from what she can see. Such a great question. And we can say we own every single model. We always say start with a K5. It is a big investment up front, but it will give you the most bang for your buck. It will do the most for you. It's the most user friendly. And we are using them now to build entire, what, media units, sliding bar door mm -hmm. units. But we can also use them to make little candle holders. It is amazing what that tool, that $100 tool, will do for you. I will say, we've had the K4s, the difference between the K4 and the K5. The K5 is just the newer and better model. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna buy one of the big ones, go like Whitney said with the K5. If budget is an issue, then go with the Craig Jr. It takes a little bit more time, but it still will give you the same pocket hole. And sometimes it's good to have the little R3 yeah. around, the little guy, he's like 39, I if think. If you forget to put pocket holes in something, you can just go clamp it to the feet and put a pocket hole I don't hole know in. what she's talking about, so, um, but yeah. Yeah, it's great for little boo-boos and mess ups just to be able to throw on there without disassembling these. So if you piece. buy the smaller one, the mm -hmm. inexpensive one, try it, you say, hey, I really like building, I really like the pocket jig, you can keep it and upgrade later on to a bigger one if you're worried about it. But I also want them to know that some people are like, I use the Craig jig and it's not that easy. And I'm like, which model were you using? Sure enough, it's always that small one. If you're doing a dining table with a little bitty Craig jig, that's difficult. I agree. I'm yeah. just saying if budget, yeah. you know, some people. So just remember what we said. Yes, if budget's an option or an issue, start with the small one. But remember, if you move up, it'll be great. We're go big or go home. <laughs> kind of go big or go home kind of girls, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sammy says, what is the best nail gun for starters? I want to build frames and install shiplap. Awesome. Okay. I would say, you might disagree, but the Ryobi 18 gauge Brad nailer. Yep is the way to go. It's I the think. most universal oh, as yeah. far as projects go. And it's a tool, uh, it's the tool only. So you buy the tool by itself and I think it's like 129 and then you can get the battery to go with it. But that's the same battery that will go with your drill. So I, that's, it'll, we use ours almost every single project. Had it for years, it's the best tool ever. Our dad is a contractor and he was a little skeptical about the whole, you know, non-pneumatic corded tools or whatever. And he was, I mean, battery tools, and he used it, and he like then borrowed ours all the time, and we ended up getting him one as a gift. He loves it. 